do the interview. How about that? This is Lori Ruff, the LinkedIn Diva, and I am sitting on top of Joel Kahn in Broomfield. Well, not on top. Uh, we're right Almost. next to you. We're, we're I can get a little closer. We're kind of framed here. We're framed this. here. We're, we're buds. buds. <laughs> so, Joel, what are you doing in Broomfield? I live here. Well, so, now you have it right from the horse's mouth. Everybody's been wondering, where in the world is Joel Kahn? I'm in Broomfield. Right here in Broomfield, yeah. outside of Denver, Colorado. So, follow Joel on his blog, joelcom.com. So, I'm going to ask him some very personal questions today. Joel, what you and, been up to? And I reserve the right to not answer. <laughs> you never know what's going to come out of my I mouth. I know, right? <laughs> That's really cool. uh, Well, I, after a, a two-year semi-sabbatical, uh, I've emerged from my cave, as it were, and I am back in the saddle. I'm, I'm developing, I'm creating, I'm speaking, I'm writing. I was going to say, you're, working, you're doing a lot of those things I'm, on Supercharge. I'm working on projects. I'm, I'm reading the 5280, you know. So nice it, plug it, there. Yeah. That's good. They should, like, send me a comp. It's The 5280 is the Denver Magazine, and uh, for those of you who might be wondering why is it called the 5280 we'll give you five seconds to think about it how high is a mile well you just gave it away what did i give it's away the, it's a mile high city it's 5280 feet, feet. right yeah, so why the mile high city <laughs> so so now I'm, that we I'm have working that and, and i've got I'm people working. popping in and visiting me and uh working you harder yeah and so Lori is, is here today and, and, and you're letting me write a chapter for your book and you're writing a chapter out. yep which were it's still Two books, actually. Yes. You're writing for one. Uh, you're not writing for the other, but that's right. because of who you already are. The other book is for a different niche, and both of those books will be out hopefully this year. Right, in the fall. I expect to see them in the fall. Uh, one book will be out in uh, September. The other one depends upon which uh, publishing house picks it up. Okay, so if you want to find out what the heck we're talking about, follow Joel's blog, joelcom.com. Click around, learn the site. You have got the coolest biographic that I've ever seen in the world. Thank you. It rocks. Well, you know, there's there's several types of infographics, and most of them information that it doesn't necessarily revolve around a person. Right. More an industry, a social media, or, you know, animals, Companies. companies, whatever. And what you'll discover are, as far as infographics surrounding people, um, sometimes third-party people will do an infographic around a celebrity. Right. Like you'll find plenty of infographics about Michael Jackson and Steve Jobs and uh, on and icons. On. And then you'll find people who create an infographic as a resume, right, to I get a it. job. And it's really though what yours is goes beyond that because you've had so many successes over the years, right from the get-go, and you're celebrating those from successes. The get -go? From the uh, get-go. Oh, I, I thought for I a moment I was a small like a lizard. You are a small lizard, but that's another story. So Can we edit that? No, 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 no. <laughs> but it, you got to check it out. Joelcom.com. Click on the infographic, the biographic. The biographic. It's actually, yeah, it's on my blog, but it's also on the entrepreneur link. You'll see the biographic. Uh, what I thought is, people are always asking me, what do I do? Right. Well, after 18 years in the business, the question has become exhausting. It is. Well, what I love about it, though, is it really gives you a clear timeline of the successes that you've had in, in your business and your life. And that is really the credibility. If people say, why should I read Joel? Why should I follow his advice? That's the piece that tells them the why. Well, it's really funny because people will know me from one thing that I've done most often, right? right. Oh, you're the guy who created Yahoo Games, which right. is... How we really first connected, exactly. right? Yes, because you, the little guy in the, the, goatee, little guy in the right goatee and the red hat, that's me. Man. And people are like, ah, oh, I know that guy. <laughs> Some people know me from the iFart app. Other people know me from Twitter Power. Some people know me from the AdSense code. Other people see me speak. So then they see that I've got this varied and diverse background in history. And it's like, wow, that's why when people ask me what I do, I get frustrated because I'm like, well, what don't I do? So here, look at the, the biographic and it tells right. you. So this is kind of cool. I'm going to put this video up tomorrow, and tomorrow you have missed the chance to spend a day with Joel Kahn on a one-day intensive. So if you ever get that chance again, you're going to want to snag it, especially after you see this, after you check him out. Anywhere that you can see Joel speak, make sure that you make it happen. It's worth it. You know, I know you very well now because we've known each other on a professional level Well, and you're sitting on top of me. I'm sitting on top of you. And, you know, I've heard your stories. 
but I've never really seen them all in one collection like you did at Internet Profits in Chicago. And I hope that you're going to be giving that talk again because what I heard from the people around me in the audience was, wow, I was insight after insight after insight. How do I make money on the Internet? How do I hedge my bets? How do I make sure that if I lose my job, my family's still taken care of? You've been really brilliant at pulling things together that people would say, where'd you come up with that idea? But giving people ideas of what they might do or how they might tap into your brilliance and say, oh, there's something I can do. There's something I can go after or I can modify it to fit my brand or to fit my personality. And people are actually going out and making money now because I know, right? they listen to your story. It, even all these that. years after the beginning, I mean, 18 years in this industry yeah. as of this uh, video today, I can't, where's the time going? And, uh, and yet there's still opportunity to make money online. It's yeah. true. Yeah, there's a lot. So that's it today for, with Lori Ruff, the LinkedIn diva, your favorite diva, of course. And if I'm not, you really, let's talk about that later. And your new best friend, Joel Com, again at joelcom.com. I don't know how you could miss that one. Com is with two M's, by the way. It's the only, only I am the only person in the world with that name. So when you Google my name, <laughs> I, I literally that's am nice. the only one. And uh, as of this week when I looked, there was over a million results. Wow. Well, you've been here a very long time. I remember when, when the internet was new, <laughs> we had to walk through the snow to <laughs> barefoot to register a domain name. And now you can get it done in minutes. And they were 80 bucks. We were talking about name. starting a website this morning, and you said, I can have a domain name registered and a site built in minutes. Yeah, we can't talk about that website. Though. Right, we're not going to talk about that website. It is the website. website. Of which but we any, do not speak. any website, even right. anything you want to do, it's minutes. So follow Joel, he'll tell you how to make it happen. There you and go. that's all the time we're going to give you today. So enjoy it. Take it, take, take action on it. Go to joelcom.com, tell him the diva sent you, and how much you enjoyed the video. Okay, thanks, Lori. Can you Thank get you. off of me now? I'm, I'm done. <laughs>